your car guy here. Today we're working on the 1976 Jaguar XJS, and yes, I said Jaguar instead of Jaguar or Jaguar or whatever, but this Jag has been sitting for quite a few years. Now this one has already been converted from a V12 to a Chevy V8. At some point later, we will probably do an upgrade to that V8. But started making the list of needed repairs. We're gonna do all the wheel bearings. Uh, the rear wheel bearings especially need um, some attention. There's quite a bit of play there. Um, gonna do the brakes. Uh, right now the, it has no brakes whatsoever. I have a new brake master cylinder coming for it. But we just finished the first project, which I felt was absolutely necessary for getting this Jag back to its former glory and on the road, and that was the hood struts. So, as you can see, when I release the hood cable, the hood actually raises itself up a little bit. Right here in the center, or off side to the center, is the safety release. And look at that. It now supports itself. Now, I didn't show you me doing the project on this car. We're going to walk through the projects. I'll probably do some videos on making some of the projects. But what we've got here is just a simple bolt at each end. There is a bushing so that it's free, and I've got it spaced out a little bit to keep these struts from hitting on the brackets so that they have good movement. But now we have a supported hood. You can see the 305 Chevy V8 that's in there right now. Yes, I have an air cleaner for it. It's sitting in the back right now. But this will make doing projects a lot simpler. Prior to this for, oh, I don't know, 20-some years or more, the hood on this car has been supported by part of a broom handle. And I'll show you that piece that has been the <laughs> hood support for many, 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 many years that we would wedge against the engine and then up against that bottom rib of the hood as a support. So now we have this lovely hood supporting itself. Used some uh, hood strut rods that I purchased off of, let's see if you can get it focus. Purchased these off of Amazon. So it was about uh, $50 for the pair of them. And you'll see the brand name there is Strong Arm 4465 TAs. But they work really well. The hood's supported, they're not overly strong, so these hoods are fiberglass. And so if you have too strong of a strut, it's gonna actually damage the hood. But you'll see that is just about the perfect amount of tension. So the first project's done. Next thing we're gonna do is actually the brakes in order that we can move the car around safely as we may need to move it in and out of the shop. I have a two post lift coming for the shop. So we'll be getting that in shortly and we'll need to be able to move the car uh, easily so that we can get that lift in and installed. This is your car guy. Please like and share the videos and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna go through the process with this Jag of a full rod restoration. Uh, not gonna be a total restoration. We're gonna make it a really good driver, but we'll be doing a lot of the jobs that you would see in a restoration. We have some body work to do. You can see some dents there. There's some rust. Uh, the driver's side floor pan is rusted out. You can see rust where this tail light went and damage here that was covered with some tape. So we'll clean all that out. We'll weld in new sheet metal. We'll clean up all the rust. We'll weld in new floor pan on the driver's side. We'll repair the passenger side. We'll repair all the rust spots on the body and get it down to a nice um, 
good straight body. We'll include going through and doing door hinges and uh, fixing those so that the doors align well. We'll go through and redo the interior, a lot of the electrical. Um, just make this a fun daily driver, but a very cool daily driver. Uh, this is actually quite an amazing car to drive. They're lots of fun, and in my opinion, they're beautiful. We're gonna do some customization, not to make it look anything radically different, but just some minor tweaks to change it up a little bit. And you'll see that as we go along. So please subscribe to the channel, like and share the videos and uh, follow along as we go through this XJS project. And I know for you XJS purists, because this is a V8, you'll probably you know, not like it, but we are gonna do things with the brakes. We're gonna do things with the suspension, the bodywork, interior, some of the electrical issues that we face with the Jags, which will include, I'm gonna find a way to retrofit a different wiper motor versus that very expensive Jag wiper motor. And I'll show you how to do that as we go through the project. Anyway, please like and share again, and we'll build this project together. It's probably gonna take some time, so don't expect it to happen in three to six months or even a year.